I'm Alison. And I'm Aaron Daly. And we live in South Devon. We heat our house with a biomass boiler, a Clover Diva Mid, which was installed about 10 months ago. We wanted to change from LPG gas. We had a choice of that and oil. I never really heard of pellet boilers until we saw one in a local company and that's when we got interested and we thought we could go that way. We did a lot of research before we moved down of different options because we weren't very happy with having a big tank in the garden and we wanted to look at something that was a bit more eco-friendly. We looked at various options, one being air source heat pumps. Obviously that then it was explained to us really it's, it's better on a new build. We did look at Argus or Rayburns, didn't we? So out of all of them, the biomass seemed to be the mm. most attractive proposition. And we're very pleased we went with it. We liked the idea that mm. it was such a clean fuel. Coming down here, you know, you're moving to a nice area of the world and you want to keep it that way. People think that you don't, can't work like a normal boiler. They think they have to come and, and put the yeah. whip pellets in it on the, in the morning and wait for it to heat up. So, of course, that's one thing that you can explain to them and show them. Mm which obviously yeah. puts their minds at rest and encourages them to go for it. Well, I feel it's a very good quality build. Everything's well made and it all fits and there's, it all closes properly. It's all, it feels good. It's simple to operate because it's the same sort of thermostat as you would have with a, with a normal gas boiler. So you just set the times as you would for hot water and, and the heating. That simplicity is, is one of its attractions as well. I clean it out about once every two weeks in the, in the winter. It takes about five or ten minutes. I've got a hoover vac thing, you get out the ash, and uh, it's very easy. Just and the, the machine comes apart, the internal workings of it, and you just pull them out, hoover it out, and put it back. It's yeah. far more interesting than a normal boiler, it's much more attractive. Yes. And it's, it's part of the kitchen, it's, it's not just, you know, usually you sort of, it's hidden in a cupboard somewhere or you try and disguise it, but with the clover, you, you don't want to disguise it. So it's, it's an integral part of the kitchen. Mm. It's simple. It's, 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 we come from a, a gas, that's what we were brought up on, a normal gas, and it's as easy as that. That you have to put pellets in it every, every so yeah. often. Obviously more in the winter than in the summer. But it's, uh, yeah, it's and not... Obviously you need somewhere to store the pellets as well, which we've got, we've got in the garage. We tend to leave the doors all open and it, the heat you know, spreads all through the house via radiators. Um, but also, also the kitchen get, is kept very warm with the boiler. It makes that room particularly cosy. And it's very decorative. Yes, we get a lot of comments. You know, people are fascinated by it. Mm. And if they come around, they tend to stay in the kitchen and <laughs> watch, watch the flames and uh, right. how it works. They always want to know okay. all the ins and outs. And so it's a, it's a great talking point as well.